Hey, spontaneous video. It's Mark again. How's it? Uh, we're going to do a little video uh, specifically on the bridge today. Uh, where's the sun? Over there. Okay, so I'll point this way. Um, yeah, so we'll start off talking about the tools I used to make it and how much it cost and what I had to do and how difficult was it and things like that. Uh, oh, I should probably turn the radio off. Bloop. Okay, so apparently I've got to keep this to 12 minutes, so... The tools I used were two axes, this one, and this one. This one I got in uh, England at uh, Hampton Court Flower Show, I think, for £20. And the other one I bought for about two dollars, and I made a handle for that. This one already had this handle on. This is called a broad axe, by the way. It's an English style broad axe. You'll see what I used that for earlier. Here's some of the wood chips that I made with it. Yes. Uh, and the other tool I used was. My big cross cut saw. And. Oh, the other toy I used was my bracing bit. And probably most of you don't even know what a bracing bit is, but this is a bracing bit. Whoop. Old school cordless drill. Powered by manpower. All women. Oh yeah, I just built this little uh, uh, what you call it, uh, woodshed. Now you might be thinking it's just the tarp tied to some trees, and you'd be right, it is. Should do the job though. So here's a big pile of gorse. The, most of this was actually cut last year, uh, 2000, the end of 2017. Uh, it's all just been seasoning. So the tarp is just uh, tied to this sort of uh, bit of wood and it goes over there, over there and that's my wood saw. Not much, I don't suppose you, many of you would be massively interested in that. So I've only got 12 minutes, so I better get down to the bridge. I haven't really thought this through very well. Oh yeah, here's the driveway. I've got quite far in it now. Probably about just under halfway. Hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Ow. But it's free. Okay, I'm just gonna march down to the bridge now. I'll turn you this way. Here we go. There's the driveway. And there's the bridge. And the other day, me and Jazz built these ramps, uh, literally just gravel and soil and rocks. And uh, we wheelbarrowed them over and compacted them down a bit. And um, we've driven up and down it about, I don't know, maybe a dozen times. And it's been all good, actually. Haven't spun a wheel yet. So here's the main bridge. So, how do I build it? Okay, so basically, underneath all the logs is a big log. It goes all the way along there. And then it's mortised and tended into this log, which I mentioned in a previous video. Ooh, a grasshopper. Hello, grasshopper. Boing. Okay, and then there's all these logs. And all these logs came from a secret spot that I probably shouldn't say on camera. Yes. And I was thinking about just putting round logs. And then I realised logs are all different shapes and sizes. So I thought it would be a really good idea to make them all a relatively even thickness of 
90 mil and I thought I'd do that by hewing all the logs. Uh, hewing is uh, flattening one side of a log or several sides of a log, uh, basically just using an axe and that's what I did. I think there's 21 logs that I hewed uh, and it was a lot of work, hard work, uh, but I'm into stuff like that, I'm into, uh, you know, like old school techniques of building and the way people used to do things, because um, if you run out of petrol or your chainsaw or you don't have any power, like, you can always revert back to those skills, so, yeah, so that's what it looks like, it's pretty rough, but... It's solid, like, it doesn't move. So, yeah, there's the other ramp. And on this side, there's the little uh, trench that drains the driveway. It goes wee in through the middle. And me and Jazz built a, like a mini little retaining wall out of um, sticks that we had lying around and underneath all the soil were like these massive boulders that we needed to get rid of. And it looks like a tiny mine shaft for tiny people. Yes. So, yeah, the bridge. I mean, I don't know anyone who's ever built a bridge like this, like out of just raw logs. Uh, it is a little bit mad. Uh, I did spend a lot of time hewing the logs and carting them over here, and I could have just bought heaps of. <laughs> You know standard timber from the local hardware store but problem is I'm pretty allergic to spending money I can't do it I don't like spending lots of money especially when I know there's another way so this is what I did so in total this bridge cost me around between 15 and 20 dollars worth of petrol that's all good. I love stuff that is cheap. So it doesn't look too bad from distance. You just don't want to look at it too closely because then you'll see it's a little bit like not perfect. But that's alright. I guess nothing's perfect when you're working with hand tools. And um, that's not to say I'm never going to get a chainsaw or anything like that. But um, what I have now is a broad axe, which I've bought years ago and I finally got a chance to use it properly for its actual purpose and it was quite a learning experience it's not easy so you know kudos to the guys back in the day who used to build houses using that method you know and I do intend to build my house with that axe as well so so yeah that's just an update on the bridge oh I should just say the end of the planks uh, they're all dowled, so I drilled a hole with the bracing bit and then hammered in heaps of dowels. So when you drive across, there's really no movement. There's a tiny bit of like wobbliness, uh, and I might uh, chuck in a few diagonal braces here and there to just eliminate that. But apart from that, it's pretty solid. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And I mean, if any of the logs get rotten, I can always just you know rip it out, hew a new one, chuck it back in, it's not really a big deal. And the logs are thick, you know, they're like this thick. Yeah. So that's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, what else shall I tell you? Well, Jazz's mum came yesterday. Jazz has gone to Christchurch. And it's, it's okay, I don't mind. I'm okay being on my own. I don't get lonely. <laughs> nah, I got Brindle. But everything's going well at the moment. The weather's been amazing. It's been like four days of sun, and then you get like a rain, a rainy day, or maybe like a few hours of real hard rain, and then it, it's sunny again. So it's mean weather. And the driveway's been really fun because. Uh, I get to drift round it in my uh, Hilux, which is pretty cool because it's all muddy and cool. So, yeah. All right. Start starting to rant about nothing now, so I guess I'll leave you. 
anyway yep that's the end of the video <laughs> all right bye